Exercise 12.3, question number 4. Cost of 5 kg of wheat is? Kg means kilogram. Okay, so the cost of 5 kilogram of wheat is rupees 30.50. Okay, in that first subdivision, what will be the cost of 8 kilogram of wheat? Okay, so the cost of 5 kg is given. Okay, so unitary method. So first we have to find the cost of 1 kg. Okay, so A subdivision cost of 5 kg of wheat is given is equal to rupees 30.50. Okay, now we have to find the cost of 1 kilogram of wheat. Okay, so how can we find the cost of 1 kilogram? We have to divide. Okay, so rupees 30.50 divided by 5. Okay, so here 30.50 is a decimal number. Okay, so we have to divide it by 5. Okay, I will show you how to divide a decimal number. Clear children? Okay, listen. So, 30.50 divided by 5. Okay, so when you divide. Okay, so first you have 3. Okay, so 3 is great, uh, is lesser than 5. So, you can't take 3. Okay, so next we are, we are having 0. So, I have to take 30. Okay, so 5 into 6 is 30. Okay, so 5, 6 are 30. Clear? And when you subtract 30 and 30, you get 0. Yes? Now, you have to bring down the next number. Here you are having 0. You have to bring down the next number. Okay. If I want to bring down the next number, you can see a decimal point there. Yes? So, I have to place a decimal point here. Okay? So, now I am having 5. Okay. So, 5 ones are is 5. Yes? Okay. Now, when I am subtracting 5 minus 5 will be 0. And I have a 0 here. Okay. This 0 I have to bring down. Okay. So, 5 zeros are 0. Okay. So, my answer is rupees 6.10. Okay. So, our answer is rupees 6.10. Okay. So, this is the cost of 1 kilogram of wheat. Okay. Now our question is what will be the cost of 8 kilogram of wheat. Okay. So we have to find cost of 8 kilogram of wheat. Okay. So we, how can we find? We have to multiply 6.10 into 8. Okay. So 6.10 into 8. Okay. I will show you how to multiply a decimal number and a whole number. Okay, so 6.10 into 8. Okay, so usual multiplication. 8 into 0 is 0. Okay, 8 ones are 8. 8 six are 48. Clear? Now, the decimal point. The decimal point is before two numbers. Yes, so in our answer, we have to place decimal point before two numbers. Okay, since it is before two numbers, we have to place decimal before two numbers. So, 1, 2. So, decimal point is here. Clear? Now, the cost of 8 kilogram of wheat is rupees 48.80. Clear children? B subdivision. What quantity of wheat can be purchased in rupees 61? Okay. So, in our A subdivision, we found out the cost of 1 kilogram of wheat. What it is cost of 1 kilogram of wheat? We have found out in our first subdivision, it is equal to rupees 6.10. Yes. This is the cost of 1 kilogram of wheat. Okay. Now, for 61 rupees, what is the uh, quantity we are going to purchase? We are going to find. Okay. So, quantity of wheat. We have to find quantity of wheat that can be purchased. Okay. So, purchased for 
rupees 61 okay so for rupees 61 what is the quantity of wheat we are purchasing we are going to find okay so for 1 kg if it is this much okay therefore for 61 rupees what is the quantity that is we are finding the other way okay so how can we find yes so i am can i write it as for 1 kg the cost is 6.10 okay therefore we have to find for 61 rupees okay so can i write it as 1 by 6.10 into 61 yes children okay so 1 by 6.10 for 1 kg it is this much therefore we have to find for 61 rupees so we have to multiply 61 okay now 6.10 okay so 1 divided by 6.10 into 61 yes okay now 6.10 okay first i am writing it in the form of fraction okay for easy calculation i am writing this decimal number in the form of fraction so how can i write can i write it as 1 divided by 610 divided by the decimal point is before two numbers okay so denominator i have to put two zeros since it is before two numbers add two zeros okay into this 61 clear now in your previous module i told you 1 divided by 610 by 100 in order to simplify i have to change this division sign to multiplication yes okay so when i am changing division to multiplication i have to take reciprocal yes so 1 into 100 divided by 610 i have taken reciprocal okay into this 61 clear now 1 into 100 is 100 okay so 100 divided by 610 into 61 okay now how can i simplify one zero in the numerator and denominator can i cancel okay so one zero gets cancelled okay now i am having 61 and 61 okay can i cancel this 61 and this 61 yes okay now 10 into 1 okay so i am having 10 kilogram okay so 10 kilogram is the quantity of wheat that can be purchased for rupees 61 okay so this way also you can simplify or if you look at the question see 5 kilogram of wheat is rupees 30.50 okay when you double 30.50 okay when you again add 30.50 with that you get 61 okay so for 5 kg if it is rupees 30.50 Okay, so when you double, I told you, you are getting 61. Okay, so 30.50, you are doubling it. So here 5 kg also you can double. Okay, double means what? 5 into 2, 10. Okay, or 30.50 plus 30.50 is 61, right? Okay, so same way, what then what will be the uh, quantity? It will be 10 kg, 5 kg plus 5 kg, 10 kg. Directly you can find the answer. Okay, so here when you are doubling it, you are getting the answer. But in uh, some problems, it will be not, it will not be like that. Okay, in sums like that, we have to find like this. Okay, okay, this I am telling you for you to understand. Okay, clear children?